Here's our agenda. We will begin with the executive summary, highlighting the four challenges and opportunities facing EcoRoute in adapting to the evolving logistic landscape. Next, we will move into the discussion questions where we will explore five areas and we will conclude with our recommendation and conclusion tying together actionable insights and strategies. I'll be discussing the team's executive summary. EcoRoute is a fast growing e-commerce fulfillment and delivery company operating across North America and Europe. It's known for its affordable same-day delivery. EcoRoute now faces major challenges from tariffs, sustainability demands, AI-driven competitors, and stricter city regulations. I'll be introducing the next speaker, who is going to be talking on how EcoRoute should adapt its sourcing and fleet strategy in a bid to mitigate the impact of tariffs. EcoRoute is dealing with a tough situation. Tariffs on battery, especially from China, have gone up a lot even reaching 125%. This makes it more expensive to switch to electric vehicles and also affects company's supply chain, cost, and overall operation. Since EcoRoute is focused on clean and efficient delivery, it needs to find smart ways to stay affordable, strong, and eco-friendly. To help with us, we looked at outside factors using pastel analysis. Politically, tariffs and trade issues are changing how we buy batteries. Uh, economically, prices are rising and supply chain are slowing down. Socially, people want greener delivery, but it still needs to be afforded. Technologically, new tools like battery cycling, smart route planning can help. Environmentally, electric vehicles affect emissions and climate goals. Legally, we must follow import rules and try to get government support. This analysis shows both problems and opportunities. Using these insights, EcoRoute is building smart strategies to handle rising costs, avoid risk, and stay competitive while still being committed to sustainable sourcing strategy to deal with rising battery tariffs and stay eco-friendly, EcoRoute needs to change how it sources batteries. We should look beyond China and buy from countries like South Korea, Japan, and Indonesia, where tariffs are lower. Second, instead of buying finished batteries, we can import raw materials and build them in the U.S. to save money. Third, working closely with trusted suppliers through long-term deals can help keep prices stable. Lastly, teaming up, with, teaming up with local recycling companies to reuse materials like lithium and cobalt will cut cost and support sustainability. These steps will help you out stay strong, smart, and green. Fleet strategy. To save money, stay eco-friendly, and run smoothly, EcoRoute should use a mix of vehicles, electric, plug-in hybrids, and fuel-efficient ones. This helps us choose the right vehicle based on the route and charging options. Using more plug-in hybrids gives us longer range and lowers battery cost. Smart route planning software can help save energy, extend battery life, and make deliveries faster. We should split our fleet by area. Small EVs for cities, hybrids for longer trips to get the best result. Using solar or wind power at charging station will cut electric city cost and support our green goals. And with AI, we can match each delivery to the best vehicles, saving time, energy, while keeping customers happy. These steps will help EcoRoute grow in a smart and sustainable way. AI role. AI is a big opportunity for EcoRoute. It works like the brain of our operation and help us stay ahead of the competitive. When we combine AI with electric vehicles, we get a strong system that improves how we work, saves money, and helps the environment. AI helps us plan better delivery routes by looking at tra traffic, weather, and timing. In Lisbon, this kind of smart planning cut emissions by up to 40%. AI also keeps track of battery health, so our vehicles last longer and don't break down during deliveries. It predicts how much demand we will have, so we don't overstock or understaff. It also picks the best vehicle for each job, based on distance and load, helping us follow rules and save energy. AI tracks emissions and creates reports to show how we are meeting our green goals. Yes, AI needs a big upfront investment in software and cloud system, but it brings major benefits like smarter routing, better labor use, and lower repair costs. Training staff and using modular system keep costs low and help us grow. Overall, AI is a smart long-term move that makes EcoRoute more efficient, sustainable, and ready for the future. Thank you so very much, Mr. Gagan. I'm going to be talking on how EcoRoute should navigate regulatory differences across delivery zones in the US and Europe. EcoRoute should take cognizance of the regulatory landscape in the cause of sourcing for raw materials and delivering finished goods. 
ECORAL should also take cognizance of low and ultra low emission zones in Europe. This is already at the heart of Eco Logistics' mission maintaining an eco friendly environment. So, this is not going to be a tall order for ECORAL to implement. Taking note of congestion charges and delivery power windows in Europe, integrity is one of ECORAL's logistics value. It should therefore strive to utilize delivery hour windows, building compliance into operations. ECORAL should maintain regulatory rule library. This would help update vehicle eligibility, permit and safety requirements. Geofencing, this is an awesome technology that would ensure that non-compliant vehicles do not enter restricted zones. Fleet strategy, prioritizing zero emission vans, on foot deliveries. This is a case where human beings would do the delivery saving mother earth of carbon footprints bicycles e-cargo bikes e-tricycles e-scooters on roads with high traffic this will enhance movement flexibility highly necessarily for delivering light packages and for short trips this would enable fa faster last mile delivery which we tag micro mobility creation of micro hubs inner city stores for last mile delivery this brings the items closer to the customers Advent of e-commerce has increased the need for e-cargo bikes, e-tricycles, and e-scooters. Pick-up and drop-off networks. This would help reduce the amount of delivery vehicles, the amount delivery vehicles spend on the road, and good for consolidation as well. Facing out internal combustions with Euro 6 standards, this would also help reduce carbon emission. Embracing sustainable delivery modes, where incentive is worth the investment. EcoRoute is into business. So wherever there is good policies that would be compliant to high investment, it should not hesitate towards embracing it quickly. Standard operating optics. Matching delivery schedules to specific city quiet hours and congestion rules. Safety and equipment standards. Cameras and audible alerts where mandated. Customer and market strategy. Tier delivery services. Green slash low emission zones compliance option. Standard option. Traditional fleets where allowed. Transparent contract pricing. This is very, very paramount. Reflecting zone charges, permit cost, and fleet upgrade. Green delivery could be used as a competitive differentiator for customers who are green savvy and green compliant. The challenges of last mile logistics are significant, but the opportunities to create a sustainable delivery ecosystem are bounds, and it's a win win for every one of us. Echo Rouse should also adopt Kaizen in its everyday operations. Thank you so very much. At this point, I will introduce the next speaker, a person of Mr. Akin Akiola. Thank you, Chidi. I'll be discussing the trade-offs between customer expectations for ultra-fast delivery and environmental sustainability, focusing on three dimensions, efficiency versus expediency, infrastructure versus cost, and customer expectations versus reality. The first, efficiency versus expediency. Ultra-fast delivery favors expediency meaning more frequent trips with fewer packages. This leads to increased traffic, suboptimal routes, and higher carbon footprint per delivery. In contrast, an environmental-friendly model consolidates orders and optimizes routes, reducing emissions, but requiring more time to collect and plan deliveries. A solution is AI-driven batching and transportation management system, which balance reduced trips and lower energy use. This can be rolled out in the short to medium term. The second is the infrastructure versus cost. Fast delivery requires a dense network of micro fulfillment centers, which drives up capital costs, overheads, and risk of inventory imbalance. A sustainable approach is the hub and spoke model with larger centralized automated centers. The strategy here is the hybrid network, combining central hubs with micro hubs and partnership with retail stores. So tools like Oracle SCM and WMS support cost reduction, scalability, and efficiency. This is more feasible over the medium to long term. The third is customer expectations versus reality. Customers expect instant delivery at little or no cost, but this marks the true environmental and operational cost. To address this, Ecoras can actually introduce carbon labeling at checkout and offer discounts for sustainable delivery options using customer-facing TMS and sustainability dashboard makes this trade-off transparent, gradually shifting customer behavior towards greener choices in the medium to long term. In summary, the trade-off is balancing speed, cost, and sustainability. 
short-term wins come from AI-driven consolidation and carbon labeling, while long-term impact comes from hybrid infrastructure strategies. Competitive advantage metrics. This matrix shows the impact across product style, value chain, and delivery. AI and sustainability strategy across defenses against competition, use efficiency, operations, and improve customer trust. Value chain integration delivers 15 to 25 percent energy savings and positions echelon as an echelon logistics innovate. Finally, the triple bottom line ensures growth that balances people, planet, and profit, making echelon not just compliant but a market leader in sustainable logistics. Green logistics focuses on minimizing the environmental footprint of the logistics. For echelon, this means measuring and reducing CO2 using standards like UMP ECAN 16258. Committing to a 15% cut in packaging related emissions in three years. Green Logistics also targets pollution, reduction, air, noise, and water. Reducing supply chain costs. One of the biggest opportunities here is cost reduction. By lowering fuel, packaging, and labor expenses, for example, reusable transport packaging can reduce product damage and achieve an 80% lower breakage rate compared to disposable packaging. The comparison packaging option shows how returnable boxes and compostables provide long-term savings while also supporting sustainability. Ecaro's AI-powered optimization delivers major savings in last-mile supply chains. In just the first year, even with a fleet of 10 vehicles, the project breaks even and generates positive net benefits. Over three years, ROI surpasses 200%, with cumulative savings of more than $15,000. The largest cost reductions come from administrative efficiency at 31% and fuel and energy savings at 28%, clearly showing the financial impact of reducing fuel use and energy costs. Driver and labor savings add another 23%, further boosting efficiency. While initial software and setup costs are offset quickly, the real advantage comes as the fleet scales at 25 or 50 vehicles, savings grow exponentially into tens of thousands of dollars annually. This proves that AI-enabled green logistics is not only sustainable, but also financially rewarding. The next is the conclusion, and will be reported by Akin Billy. Thank you, Norelin. In conclusion, Ecoran stands at a critical juncture where sustainability and AI adoption must evolve beyond compliance. By reframing these initiatives as customer value propositions and competitive strengths, EcoRoute can overcome the challenges of tariffs, urban restrictions, and intensified AI competition. The Green Delivery Option and Sustainability Dashboard will directly engage customers, offering both transparency and choice. At the same time, AI-driven forecasting and route optimization will cut costs, reduce the emission, and personalized services, transforming efficiency into brand differentiation. Finally, field diversification and retailer partnership will secure resilience against external shocks and strengthen EcoRoute market presence. With these steps, EcoRoute will position itself not only as a logistics provider, but as the AI enabled Green Last Mile leader. Thanks to be Norelin, who will take us through the recommendation. Thank you, Akindeli. EcoRoute's watch shows clear strengths in sustainability, AI, and fleet flexibility, with big opportunities in rising demand and supportive regulations. At the same time, we must manage weaknesses like high EV cost and limited brand recognition, and threats from tariffs, competition, and regulatory differences. Based on this watch, I will now explain our key recommendations. First, launch a green delivery option using EVIS hybrids, and cargo bikes. Second, introduce a sustainability dashboard to boost transparency and loyalty. Third, accelerate AI integration to cut emissions and cost. Fourth, diversify the fleet to reduce tariff exposure. And finally, form partnerships with eco retailers to scale and strengthen ESG alignment. Together, this action transform compliance into competitive advantage. Ecoro won't just deliver packages, it will deliver the future. Thank you.